Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have another product review video. This is FabFitFun stuff and some Cosmox stuff. And I am, the first thing I wanna talk about, as you can see, I'm wearing the Show Me Your Moo Moo robe from the FabFitFun box. It is still really, really cold, so I'm wearing clothes under it. But anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this robe. I really do like it. Um, I have a couple of things. The price point they said was about $84 right around there I believe and for that I would think that the material might feel a little bit better it's okay and maybe when I wash it it'll get a little bit softer and also on a lot of robes something that I really appreciate is they'll have uh, an extra string here so that and, and then another one that corresponds right here so that you can tie those two strings together and then tie it out here and then you don't have to worry about the robe slipping open so much or at all really and this robe doesn't have that so I was really really surprised about that missing detail and then the last thing that I want to say about this let's see maybe if I stand on my chair I can show you guys this one is just kind of a personal preference right here you can see it goes down in the back of the robe and I, for me, I kind of wish it just went straight across. I can see how a lot of people might really like that, but I want to learn to sew. So if I learn to sew successfully, I would like to just kind of make it go straight across. And that is just a personal preference. I don't, you know, I have a lot of hangups about a lot of my body parts, but I get, I do like my legs and my husband loves my legs. And so I kind of wish it just was short all the way around. So that's what I think about this robe. I do wear it, I have been wearing it and I do really like it. I just don't really think it's worth the price point that they listed. And that's the robe. The next thing I wanna talk about is this extremely, po sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, this extremely popular sunscreen. This is the Kula White Tea, uh, White Tea Organic Sun Care Classic Sunscreen, and it's SPF 50. I have actually, I've seen so many people raving about this, and then I have actually seen some people kind of arguing on forums about this being really good natural sunscreen that is good for your skin and isn't harmful like most sunscreens and then some people saying no I'm sorry you're wrong this is actually just as harmful as any other sunscreen so I dug a little bit further and I found this Okay, this is a blog post that I'm quoting, and it's uh, amymyersmd.com, and she did a blog post, uh, and it's called What's in Your Sunscreen? Six Ingredients to Avoid This Summer, and this does have one of the ingredients that she lists to avoid, and that is octanoxate, octanoxate. Octanoxate is also readily absorbed via the skin and also disrupts your endocrine system by mimicking hormonal mimicking hormonal activity that can affect the reproductive system and thyroid and oh uh, gosh as I enter my late 30s I am knowing more and more women who are my peers that are experiencing trouble with their thyroid so that's really alarming for me to read and then she does go on in this article to list some safe sunscreens there are safe sunscreens out there uh, if you do insist on wearing sunscreen. So again, amymyersmd.com and the blog post is called What's in Your Sunscreen? Six Ingredients to Avoid This Summer. So I really liked this blog post. I'm gonna look into some of the sunscreens that she recommends. The, what's the lesser of two evils? Be in the sun um, and let the UV rays give you cancer or wear sunscreen and let the sunscreen damage your um, in endocrine system and give you cancer. So anyway, I am not so certain that I want to be wearing sunscreen every single morning and perhaps what uh, for me, my choice right now is to just try to avoid being in the sun or wear hats. So I'm gonna avoid wearing sunscreen in the morning until I look into and purchase one of the sunscreens that uh, she recommends that doesn't have any of those harmful ingredients. Sorry, this was available in the FabFitFun sale, uh, the last one, but I got this in my Influencer Best of 2018 box, and so it is really doing a good job of marketing itself, and people are saying really good things about it, but don't be fooled, it is not as excellent, uh, the ingredients aren't as excellent as people are going around saying. 
Um, and then, so the next thing, this came in the cause box, the spring cause box. You may have seen my unboxing of that. I was a little bit grumpy in that video, and I think it was because I was so disappointed in the winter cause box. So I'm sorry if I came off very skeptical in that video. I did like the spring box better than the winter box. I, I did not like it anywhere as much as I liked the fall cause box. So this is the Cosmetics Glow Bamboo Brightening Mask. And I used it a couple nights ago and it is, it's nice. It's a nice mask. It has exfoliating beads in it. This brightening mask, brightening, helps remove dead surface cells for optimal absorption of brightening ingredients that help reduce the appearance of discoloration, uneven skin tone and roughness for visibly smoother and brighter luminous skin. Uh, it has lactic acid in it. It is a white creamy consistency with some exfoliating beads inside. It looks like that. And when I washed it off, it, it was pretty difficult to get all the beads off. Um, sometimes that's a struggle, struggle, but it was particularly tough to make sure all the beads were off on this one. So I definitely think that when I use this one in the future, future I will uh, be putting it on before I intend to take an actual shower to get everything off. I was standing at the sink just flushing my face for a long time trying to get it off and then it smells uh it has a very very subtle lemon smell which i actually don't prefer i was cursed i used lemon pledge when i had to dust as a kid and that kind of kind of messed up my ability to like the lemon scent if i'm like the artificial lemon scent i really like lemons but um anything that's lemon scented i kind of it's a myth for me, but I know a lot of people like it and it's very, very subtle. And I could see a lot of people thinking the scent is quite nice. So if you like that, then a big thumbs up for you. Okay, the next thing, this one's also cause box. I got this in the fall cause box, fall 2018 cause box, and I really like that box, as I've said. So this one is a hair mask by Natura Brazil. And I did enjoy this hair mask. I used the last of it this morning. My hair is still wet. It smells very sweet tart, fruity kind of smell, and it's not terribly overwhelming. I really like it. It feels very moisturizing, very nice to use. I did like this a lot. And actually, this is kind of a cute little storage container too. I'm gonna wash it out and keep it for, I don't know, buttons or something. But I did like this. I am not gonna go out and actively pursue buying it again. I haven't used a hair mask that has Beat the uh, Living Proof Restore hair mask. I got that in the Fall Fab Fit Fun edit sale and I really, really liked that hair mask. I would buy that one at full price again. And the next thing is I got this Marula facial oil. So Marula oil, and it's from Eastern Africa and some anthropologists were over there, white anthropologists. They saw the women using it to moisturize their skin and they started wanting to market it. Uh, the website, Marula is the company, the website says that they ethically resource and ethically sell this product and that they actually employ the women that uh, are in that region of Africa so it helps their economy. So hopefully that's true, I buy it, I, I do. So uh, the one thing that I really like about this is actually the bottle itself. So when you untwist it, you'll see this part pop up. And that is actually sucking the product into the dropper already. And then watch, when I pull this out, it's already in there. I hope you can see that. The oil itself is really nice. It feels really moisturizing going on. It's got a very, very subtle smell. Almost smells a little bit like forest to me, like really earthy and nice. Um, it's very subtle, uh, but I really like this dropper and, and I, I haven't seen a dropper like that. With this retails, I got it for $19 on the FabFitFun edit sale. It retails for like $72. It does not live up to this one, which I rave about all the time. This is the Le Prunier uh, facial oil and this, this, was, this is $20 for this little guy and then the a large size like this is also 70 something dollars, but this one's amazing. This is nice, I, di I do like it. Uh, if you're looking for a good facial oil and you aren't sure about Marula or Plum Oil, I recommend this one over this one, but this is really, really nice. And you can get it for $19 maybe in another sale on FabFitFun. I don't believe it was a last call item, which a last call item 
In the FabFitStamp on Sales, there's a tab that says last call and you go to that tab and you can see which items are less likely to be available in the future. So if you're debating whether to get something, you can check that tab. And if it's there, then you might want to jump on it and grab one for yourself. And the next thing is this Paula's Choice Exfoliate. It's a BHA liquid exfoliant, so it's like a salicylic acid. A lot of people were saying really wonderful things about Paula's Choice, so I wanted to try something out by them, and they were really, a lot of people were really happy to see Paula's Choice stuff show up in the sale. I think it might have been the first time, don't quote me on that, I've been a member since fall. It was the first time I saw anything from Paula's Choice, it was the first time I heard of Paula's Choice. This is really, it's really very nice to use. It's different than other salicylic acids, in that there's something oddly moisturizing about it. It's not just harsh and drying, which salicylic acids are supposed to be. They're supposed to go in and dig out all the grime that you have in your pores and help clear them out. I cannot use this as often as directed. It says once or twice daily, apply over face and neck with a cotton pad. I cannot use it that often. My face is too dry and I already knew that. I use it probably a few times a week. So far, I haven't seen any results. I've been using it since I got my box, which I got my box really, really quickly. I got my box maybe three weeks ago, but hopefully I will if I keep using it. Uh, and it's cruelty free. That I'll come back around to this when I do an empties. I'll let you know what I actually think once I've used the whole bottle. This is the LMS Peptide Thousand Flower Mask. I got this in, um, Oh, I one of the sales, not this last one, but the one before, and it was their winter collection. It, it look it look at this color. It's black. So you can definitely stain your clothes. I do like this mask. As when you put it on, it feels like that very subtle sting where you know like it's doing something. I've heard really wonderful things about peptides. I think they're a protein that is good for anti-aging. Formulated with Nordic peat, organic matter from thousands of flowers rich in humic and fulvic acid. Whew, haven't heard of those either. To help revive tired looking skin, the unique willow complex encourages gentle exfoliation to restore the skin's natural radiance. Fulvic acid is a natural element. Oh, it helps absorb and use nutrients better. Okay, well that's wonderful because that is what pegs do and pegs are bad for us. The humic acid also does this similar um, functions in a similar way. And that's all I have to say about this. I do enjoy using it. I feel like it is effective on my skin. The next and last thing I have to tell you about are these uh, Nelson J shampoo and conditioner. I got this a long time ago in the um, fall edit sale. I like using them. They have a smell that kind of reminds me of like kind of pina colada, like I, mean, I want to be on the beach in Hawaii. It No sulfates, no parabens, it's cruelty free. So I like this, I do like this, I'm not, I'm, if it's in the sale again, maybe I'll get it again if there's no other option that I want to try. I did get these for like $9 for the pair, or maybe $14 for the pair, and they do retail for like $20 each. And I am on the hunt for like a nice, shampoo and conditioner. I'm feeling very done with most drugstore um, shampoo and conditioners. If you have a good recommendation for drugstore shampoo and conditioners for that's moisturizing, that's cruelty free, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so that's it. That's my review video for today and thank you for joining me. If you liked this video, consider subscribing. Definitely hit the like button and I will see you guys later. I'm thinking about going live once a week. Uh, so far, I'm kind of aiming for Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you are if you happen to be online and you see that I'm live, go ahead and join and say hi. All right, have a wonderful day.